Hey, I'm Matt from mastersketchup.com. And in this video, I wanna share some tricks with you on how to find and isolate specific objects in your SketchUp model. So this is a SketchUp model where I've imported uh, trusses from a truss engineering program called MyTech. And a lot of times I need to find a specific truss in the model. So for instance, if I dig into some of these trusses, you can see that they are imported all as components and uh, they're labeled according to the truss name. So FO2, you can see there's a bunch of FO2s, FO3, FO4, so on and so forth. So when your components and groups are labeled like this, you can actually use the outliner to filter by name. So if I wanted to find all of the F O1 um, components that are in my model, I can just type it up here into the filter and all of those components are going to be filtered in the outliner. So I can then go ahead and just select and then visually look for it in the model. Now you'll notice that since I'm inside of this uh, group right here, everything else uh, that was in the model is hidden, and that's because I'm using the hide rest of model um, option. So when you're in component edit, under view, component edit, um, hide rest of model, and I have the custom keyboard shortcut X assigned to that, so I can quickly turn that on and off. So by jumping, just by selecting this component here, I've jumped inside of its parent group, but you know, the rest of the model is obstructing my view. So I can just tap X and that's gonna hide the rest of the model. And then I can easily see the highlighted or selected component. Now, if you have to jump through a lot of different components, um, it can kind of be a pain to have to zoom in and out manually in order to find it in the model. So I like to use a little trick um, that's found in the context menu. And by the way, when, when you right click on a object in the outliner, it's the same exact thing as right clicking it in the workspace itself. And of course, uh, this is off screen here, but there's actually an option uh, called zoom selection. So when you click zoom selection, it'll zoom your workspace to fit whatever you have currently selected. So for instance, I could just walk right through um, this list of components and click on zoom selection and jump right over to that, that location with, without having to zoom in and out. And so I like to have that assigned to a custom keyboard shortcut. If you know anything about me, you know I love keyboard shortcuts. Um, so I actually have shift S to zoom to selected and shift A to zoom extents. So zoom extents is gonna zoom everything out to fit all the visible objects in your model. So by using both of those shortcuts, you can easily zoom in and out um, to find objects in your model and zoom right into them. So how do you actually assign this keyboard shortcut? Because here's the thing that's crazy. If you go up to window and preferences and you search for um, zoom selected, if you type in zoom here, you only have these four options. Zoom selected actually isn't in the list. So there's a trick to getting that to pop up um, on this list. And for some reason, all you have to do is you have to have an object selected before you go to the preferences window. So I selected the object, went back to the preferences, and now when I type in zoom, now we have this menu item here that we can assign um, a key, uh, a shortcut key. So the way you do that, if you don't know, um, you just click right here and you type in whatever shortcut you want. You click the add key, uh, the plus button, and it's gonna allow you to add that custom keyboard shortcut. Now in this case, I already have that assigned, so it's just giving me a warning that it's already assigned, so I'm just gonna ignore that. So again, just using Shift A, um, so again, the uh, the zoom extends is right here, uh, zoom extends. So I have shift A and then zoom selection, shift S. So I just, the logic there is like shift A, A for all. So zoom all 
and then S is zoom selected, S for selected. So you can use whatever you want. That's just the logic that I kind of came up with. So just by using those two features, you can really have a lot of control on how quickly you can zoom in and out of your model. Now, by the way, this is actually a pretty uh, cool trick for getting out of stuck walls as well. So for instance, if I um, uh, disable hide rest of model and I zoom into the selected object, let's say I zoom out and I'm stuck in this wall. So I just backed into a wall. So if you have that zoom extents keyboard shortcut, you can just tap shift A and it'll zoom you out um, out of the model so you're not stuck. You don't have to zoom forever trying to get out of that. Okay, what if you want to search a specific area of your model for a specific um, object? So for example, let's say I knew that there was an F01 truss somewhere over here. Um, you know, this this is kind of a bad example because I, you know, I could easily just click through all of these manually and find it quick. But let's say there was like a big list of like 50 of these and I didn't want to have to step through every single one, but I knew there was one somewhere over here. All you need to do is drag a selection over um, with the area that you want to search. And because the outliner is still filtering for those objects, it will highlight those objects that are within that selection. So now I know that this one and this one are both within that area. So you can easily find objects by filtering them in the outliner and then creating a selection over the area that you want to search. And then the last trick I want to uh, show you is, let's say you wanted to hide everything in your model except for the uh, objects that you're filtering. So in order to do that, you would just zoom out so you can select everything or you can just uh, hit, I think control A is uh, select all. Yes, control A would select all. And then you're gonna go to edit, hide. So you're gonna hide everything first and then you're gonna go to the outliner window. You're gonna select the first one. So we still have F01 being filtered. So we'll select the first one, we'll hold shift, and we'll select the last one. So that's gonna select all of these. And then you can right click, unhide, and now you've, um, you've hidden everything except for those objects. Obviously you see we've, we've jumped outside of the group, so I just need to jump back inside the group here and everything within this floor is hidden except for those um, few trusses that, I'm, that I wanna isolate. All right, that's it for this video. I just wanted to show you some interesting ways that you can quickly isolate and locate objects in your model. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and hit the like button and I'll see you in the next video.